Hi everyone. So I'm back with another cooking video because apparently you enjoyed my first one. Again, I'd like to preface this by saying I'm not a chef and I don't even do the majority of the cooking in my house. But I do cook for myself for breakfast and lunch every day. And um, I have found some things that I really enjoy making and eating. Um, I don't cook like this every meal, obviously, but, you know, sometimes I'm in the mood. So, I'm going to show you one of the meals that I like to make, which is a bean burrito. Um, and this is what you need for it. So, you need a can of refried beans. This is from Target. Um, I, I use both two kinds of beans, refried and black beans. Um, I really like these Cuban-style black beans from Trader Joe's, but any black beans would work for this. And um, actually, I already have some made up that I'm going to be using with the leftovers, but how I prepare them is I dump them into a pan and I drain off the starch water that's in there, and I just cook them in a little chicken broth until they get a little softened and kind of yummy. Um, that's sort of a no-fail way. But you don't have to do that. You can just go right from the can if you want. I mean, that's fine. Let's just have a little more. Like, they have some onions and peppers and things in them. Which I don't usually like, but I do really like these from Trader Joe's. So, I'm a fan. So, two kinds of beans. You need a cheese of your choice. This is just cheddar. You need tortilla of your choice um, and then I really enjoy green enchilada sauce which I this came from a can just whatever they have at my store it's green enchilada sauce mm, it's so good and I like it on its own but one thing that I really have been enjoying doing which is obviously adding calories I know that is I like mixing it with a little bit of sour cream and it kind of makes like a creamy sauce that I really enjoy. So let's just set these aside. And the first thing I'm going to do is I have preheated my oven to 350. This this is my last tortilla so it's a little it's a little less pretty. But waste not want not right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my refried beans which I've already opened the can and I'm going to take a knife ideally this would be an offset spatula but I can't find mine wow there's a lot of good sized beans in here which I don't know how I feel about that I don't usually get the Target brand, but I figured I would try them. So the first thing I do is just kind of create a little bed of refried beans. And then they're all here. And then I'll cover that with foil and use that again. And next, I'm going to add some of my Cuban style black beans. So I know they don't they don't look that um appetizing, but they've got like little green peppers and onions in with them. Which I think is very delicious. Okay. Another um adaptation you could have for this is to add in one of these. These are absolutely delicious. I don't, I'm not going to do it today because I just sort of don't feel like it, but um, I do this a lot. I mean, I feel like there's already a lot of beans in there. Sometimes I'll make this burrito with this instead. So this is just Trader Joe's quinoa, black bean, and roasted corn burgers. They're so good. Um, I make them in the I mean, you can make them on a grill, and I recommend it grilled or on the stove. Of course, that's going to be better. But you can make them in the microwave. They don't come out super crispy in the microwave, obviously. 
but I like to make them in there because it's just fast and easy. And then I'll kind of like break it up and just put it in here. I'm telling you, these are where it is at. Um, so that's a good adaptation. I'm, just, I'm not going to do that today because I, you know, you can do all of those things. That would be fine. So the next thing is I'm going to grate some cheddar. I love cheese. Okay. That's a good amount. Don't judge me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the oven. And I'm going to make an egg. I didn't say eggs in the original recipe because you don't have to include them. Of course, you don't have to include any of this. But I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just going to do medium high. I'm going to just do one egg. Until my pans are a little warped. This is an older pan, but the egg should sit in the middle. If it's warped, it's going to go to the edges. Just put a little salt on there. It's going to taste good. All right, and just like always, I'm just going to break up the white part a little. So I think that kind of helps. I like to kind of just do that. Okay. While that's cooking, I'm going to take a bowl. I'm going to take a little bit of sour cream, just a little. And then I'm going to take some of my green enchilada sauce and just spoon in a decent amount. I'm probably making too much, but that's fine. I love green enchilada sauce. And then I'm just going to stir it up. It does not look good at the If you don't like sour cream, you can leave out that, obviously. Mm. Oh my god. like a little sour cream, I can't help it. I'm just going to take this egg and do a quick cook and then I'm going to take it off the heat. By now my burrito should have heated through and the cheese is melting. You can tell that's not great cheese that I was using. I'm going to break the yolk once it gets on there because I want it to kind of serve as a, a second sauce. And then I'm going to drizzle on some of this green enchilada sour cream goodness. Okay. Put it onto a plate. And you're going to want to fold in the sides. You can cut it in half, but since I have the yolk runny, I'm just going to leave it like that. And so that's it. It doesn't look like much. It doesn't look great, but it's going to taste amazing. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if there's other foods and things that you'd like to see me try and cook. Um, and I will see you next time. Okay.